So you're interested in going to Excellence Putacana Resort in the Dominican Republic. You want to see the resort. You have questions. Is it old? Is it new? Is it modern or traditional? What's the beach like? What are the pools like? You've come to the right place. We're going to walk through the whole resort and show all the highlights of the resort and describe what you're seeing. If you have any questions, hey, leave a comment. We'd be happy to get back to you. So let's get started. So here's a map of the entire resort. We'll use this throughout the video to show where we are. And here's the route we'll take, going all the way around the entire resort. It'll help you see where we are if we go through the video. So, let's start in the main entrance and get things going. It's always fun when you're starting off on a vacation, and when you're greeted in front of a beautiful resort like Excellence Punta Cana, it's really exciting. When you get out of the transfer vehicle, you know your vacation is about to start. And you start your vacation off in the beautiful front entrance way with two cold glasses of champagne. It's a great way to start. It's a real classic main entrance with marble pillars and water features with fountains on each side. And then you make your way into that main lobby with high ceilings, a real traditional open air look. It really feels tropical and you feel like you're really starting your vacation. We're just through the main lobby as we walk along this covered walkway. The kitchen table buffet restaurant is to our left. And you can see all the beautiful gardens on the, along this walkway. It's just gorgeous. But to the right, there is the main pool area. A lot of activity happens in the main pool with, during the day. And on the other side of that is the ocean, but we'll get to that. And you can see just up ahead, we are now approaching the Oregano restaurant, which is the Italian restaurant on the resort. It's a lovely open air restaurant with views of the ocean and the pools around it. It's open for lunch and it's open for dinner. Now, as we move away from Oregano restaurant, this walkway basically separates the main building from a lot of the rooms in the resort, the non-club rooms, are on the right side of this walkway. And we look to the left here, and we'll see Chez Isabella restaurant, which is the French restaurant on the resort. It's a beautiful, luxury, glamorous restaurant. You really enjoy it. Uh, and just up ahead here on the left is Spice Restaurant, which is the Asian restaurant on the resort. Um, it's a great spot for dinner. So now we are heading into the biggest area of buildings for, for rooms in the resort. Uh, we are right now at the front of building 6 and we'll make our way all the way along to building 14. I will try to make my way through here as quickly as possible. And I can tell you, this is where all the non-excellence club rooms are in all these buildings from building 6 to building 14. Uh, the rooms on the right have a view of the ocean. Most of them will have a view of the ocean. And the rooms on the left of where I'm walking uh, will have mountain or garden views. And now we finally come to building 14, which is the last building before we get to the farthest end of the resort, the northwest end of the resort. And here we are at the end. So there's a walkway it's right here. 
and to the left is the botanical garden, and to the right we'll make our way along as we get towards the ocean. So as I said, we're at the far end of the resort. The property line ends right here, so there's the fence on the left that ends the property. And it's really peaceful and quiet as you walk along here at this end of the resort. Uh, there's some really lovely rooms. This is building 14 at the very end, and you can see uh, they will have private pools on the ground floor there. Uh, but all the rooms right here would have views of the ocean. And the ocean is coming up, and there we are. There's, there's the view of the ocean. It's right there. And this little walkway, this boardwalk, will take you right along to a long boardwalk that will go the whole stretch of the entire resort with the ocean on our left. And this is what we'll call the water sports shack, where you can get uh, hobies, you can get boogie boards. So here's the boardwalk, the start of it, at the far end of the resort. And this boardwalk goes the entire length of the resort. With the roofs you can see here, the beginning of the main pool starts right there. And we have the ocean on our left. Now, to our right, we have Soul Bar, which is available to anyone on the resort. It's right there, the, a stretch of the main pool is on the other side of Soul Bar there. And there's some great spots to sit along here. You can see right along the boardwalk, great spots to sit. You can stare out at the, at the ocean and have the pools right behind you. Now we're coming up to some restaurants. The first restaurant is on our right here, and this is Lobster House. Um, it's a, we'll call it a seafood restaurant, open for breakfast and for dinner. And just up here on our left is La Solis. We'll call it the beach restaurant, uh, and it is open for lunch only. But they usually have themed lunches, but you can always get fries and a hamburger every single day. And then we turn to our right, and there's Oregano restaurant again. We've already seen that. It's the Italian restaurant, but we saw it from the other side. And now you can see how it looks out on the ocean. And then to our left, again, it's Las Solas, but it's the Las Solas Bar. Really great spot. Sit, have a cocktail, and have the ocean sound and the ocean right there in front of you. So, here on the left, is where they play beach volleyball and there's a lifeguard station and just on the other side of the lifeguard station you'll see the red flag the red flag is out a lot uh, it, it, the water can be rough at times and it can be windy and then a main square or plaza is plaza santo domingo a lot of events happen there like the silent dance party and another bar, a beautiful, very pretty classy outdoor bar on the resort is Prelude Bar. And you can see the main building on one side and the ocean is on our left here. Great spot for before and after dinner cocktails. And now we have reached the Excellence Club area. And this is the Excellence Club beach on the left uh, for Excellence Club guests only. And on the right is, there's Magna Club Restaurant. Again, for excellent club guests only. 
great spot for breakfast and for dinner with lovely views of the ocean. So we're really in the Excellence Club area now. You can see the roped off beach to the left with the really lovely padded chairs for people in the beach uh, for Excellence Club guests. And on the right, this is Palm Bar. And again, for Excellence Club guests only, a nice little spot to sit and have a drink, maybe a snack in the bar there. And the first Excellence Club pool, it's, which is called the Beachfront Club Pool, and it is on the right here. And these are all Excellence Club rooms as well. This is building one, two, and part of building three. And here again, an entrance to Excellence Club Beach. So we're almost at the very far end of the resort now, uh, and there's the wedding gazebo. If you have a wedding booked, this is where it will happen, right here. Lovely spot again, palm trees all around it with beautiful views of the ocean. And this is building three with Excellence Club sweep with private pool and ocean view on the bottom and ocean view on the top. Just a lovely spot for rooms there. So as I said, we're at the very far end of the resort now. And this is building three, and this is a, a junior suite with private pool. So the resort, as I said, ends right here. There's the fence on the, on the left here, which is the very end of the resort. You know, when people are looking to find what type of resort in the Caribbean they'd like to go to, you know, I know people look at uh, the website of resorts and they'll go to TripAdvisor and check out reviews and they go to YouTube and check out the videos like you're doing right now. And thanks for watching our video. We've got other videos of Caribbean resorts that are informative and may help you on your travel decision. But when we're looking to see where we want to go, what resort we want to pick, we check out YouTube videos as well. And there's some channels that we really like. And one channel that really stands out is Shroop's Adventures. Check them out. We'll have a link in our description on their channel. They've got lots of great information on Caribbean resorts. Uh, we watched their video on Excellence Playa Mujeres. We subscribed, so consider subscribing yourself to Shroop's Adventures. So check them out. Now we're approaching on our left. This is the mini golf course. Now this would be the very back end of the resort and that would be the farthest building at this point which would be building four. And the mini golf course. You can get a putter, a ball and have a good time just putting around the little course there. on our left here through the palm trees is the games area see ping pong table here all covered so if it's a rainy day nice spot As we walk along the walkway, uh, to our left then is the games area. The games area at this point would include pool tables. And then across the walkway, uh, there's tennis courts. And in the far back, there's basketball courts. Now as we make our way along the walkway at this point, 
Building 5, the Excellent Club Building 5 area is on the right. And then we come up on the other Excellence Club pool, which is the Waterfall Pool. But before we get to the pool, uh, there's a bar, Excellence Club Silo Bar. It's a real great bar. Uh, look for Felix, he's a great bartender. And there's places to sit as you approach the waterfall pool. It's a real private area. You can hear the waterfall going the whole time you're sitting around the pool. Uh, it's a real lovely spot. Now as we leave the Excellence Club pool area, the waterfall pool area, uh, we make our way towards the main drive into the resort. So this main drive has several different buildings and as we walk along here, I mean there's shops all along to the left side. And to the right side is the Botanical Garden, and we'll show that shortly. Then we approach the Mille Spa. All the Excellence Club resorts have a Mille Spa, and it's a beautiful spa. Uh, they have hydrotherapy, they have different types of massages for couples, for individuals, um, so check it out. And then we approach this building at the end, end of the road here, and it is the Allegra nightclub. It opens, or I believe it opens at 11 o'clock at night, and it goes till one in the morning. So if you you like to stay up late, make sure you check out the Allegra bar. Now we're still basically in front of the Allegra bar, but there's a walkway and there's a walkway that goes back to the fitness center or the gym. So we'll make our way along this beautiful tropical walkway as we get to the fitness center. So here's the fitness center on the right. It has a gym, it has weights, it has all kinds of fitness equipment. So if you like to get up in the morning and go do a workout, this is the spot for you. Now as we proceed farther along the walkway here, we're back to the games area. So we're back to where the basketball courts are. And on the left side here, there's tennis courts. So as we finish along this walkway, we'll make our way back towards the main part of the resort. And we'll show you the botanical gardens. So if you noticed on the map, we're back closer to the front of the building but I've made my way across the main road and now I'm in front of the Botanical Garden.
There's just lush vegetation here as we're looking at a pond. So the botanical garden isn't something that you would find at most of the other excellence resorts. This area is lush and tropical. It's a real beautiful spot to walk through, relax, and enjoy your time. And then we walk out towards the main road again. And you can see to the right, there's a, a landing or a lookout. And you can walk out towards this pond. And there's parrots or cockatoos. There's two of them. Only see one today, but there's usually two of them. And you can see the pond, it's beautiful, lush, and there's actually fish in the pond. And out farther across here, there's a, there's a larger pond, and it has flamingos and geese. So take a longer walk back into the botanical garden, and you'll even see much more than this. So now we make our way back up towards the front of the resort again. But we have to go buy some restaurants. We still haven't seen a few restaurants. But at the top of this walkway, we look straight across and that's the sports bar straight across. It's usually open late in the afternoon and goes till late. It usually has the top sporting events you'll want to see. But then we turn to our right and this is Aroma the Aroma Coffee Shop. You can get specialty coffees, uh, drinks, and bites to eat. And then the next restaurant, as we see here, is Agave, which is the Mexican restaurant on the resort. And then this next restaurant is the Grill Restaurant. We call I'd call it a steakhouse restaurant. And at the end of this big open area, it's a real beautiful spot with seats, to sit on out front of the restaurant. We come to the Waterfall Excellence Club pool again. We're just looking at this pool from a different angle. And now we're almost done our tour. As we walk back towards the main lobby, on our right here is the tours information area. There's different tour providers there where you can talk to and book an excursion outside the resort. look to our right here and this is the martini bar it's a real lovely bar for before after dinner drinks it's open during the uh, shows at night and a little farther past the martini bar I have an arrow and it shows that's where the theater is in behind that it's a large open-air theater so we're just about done the tour all the way around the resort uh, I hope the maps helped uh, if you have any questions or comments please send us a note. We'd love to get back to you and answer any questions about the resort. And if you enjoyed our video and found it informative, hey, please hit that subscribe button so you can see more of our informative Caribbean resort videos. So happy travels.